Hello YouTube and welcome to our 58th Unity 3D, 59th Unity 3D tutorial. Sorry I've been mixed up with the numbers lately, I don't know why, but um, yeah, so this is the 59th tutorial. And last tutorial we made a little maze game, so you can move the thing object with your mouse. If you hit the thing and the wall, you have to retry. You've got your help button, you got your back button, you got your play button, and you got your winning button. And what we're just going to do is make it so you have to be able to click the square when it's down here in order to be able to move it. Really, really simple to do. I don't know if anyone figured it out. Well done if you did. Um, go into the chart controls. And what we're going to do is create a new private var called um, char active, why not, equals false. So it equals false. And in our function update, we're going to put if char active equals true. Then what we're going to do is make it be able to move it. So as soon as that's true, we can start moving the character. However, how do we make it true? Um, function on mouse. I can't remember the name of it. I think it's up. It might not be. That could throw an error. We might have to have a look at that. Um, char active equals true. Oh. Oh, it worked, but the rigid body was on. Well, it works, but the rigid body's on, and the person needs to catch it really quickly. Hmm, I don't know if I know the code to stop it. We'll have a look. Um, here we'll type this dot rigid body dot grav use gravity equals true so what I'm thinking is we disable the gravity use gravity I was right so if you type that and um, basically it'll get this as rigid body and then turn gravity on because it's going to defaultly start us off so it won't fall so when we start it it shouldn't fall there we go so as soon as we click it it falls can we still die yep oh ah how does that fail on my own maze there we go. So, as you can see, super simple to be able to do that. Um, we do need a big label here, what says "press the damn button," but that should be simple enough. So we're just going to create some. Should we do GUI text or should we not? Hmm. Yeah, we'll do it. Create a function on GUI in our character controls, and here we'll just type GUI. It don't matter if that's lowercase or big case. Um, GUI label rect and this will be 200 50 20 100 that should do it. press click the character to start That should work and above here we'll put if char active equals false. So if it equals false then it means we haven't clicked it yet. So we can choose that to be able to click it. No errors. So click play and it should show in the middle of the screen. Uh, it needs to be expanded. Um, and Google Chrome just has to load up. So here we need to change this one to 100 and this one to 20. I got it mixed up. So now this should be across the screen here. Click the. Well, that's very helpful. Why is it doing that? 120. Set this to 300. Set this to 100. Right. Test 2. Run properly. Click the character to start. So we'll obviously align that. So we click the character. Boom, it disappears. Click, you win. See? Really simple to do that one. So now we're going to make it so Shao Kahn can actually walk up and go, hey, that's mine, and then play. And um, we could add sounds to this. In fact, no, we are going to add sounds to this soon. Not now, and probably not next, but probably one after. We're going to add some cool sound effects to it. So let's go back to our main level. 
So in the last three tutorials we've just created five fully working scenes. Wow. So let's open level one. This is the one that always lags a lot. Hmm. In the next tutorial what we're going to try and do is fix all the errors as well. All these. We're going to try and get... They're not errors, but ignore the die ones then. Ignore that one. But um, the warnings, we're going to fix them. But yeah. So let's drag it up there. So let's go to our character. So we have it here and we have our coin machine. So we need some way on the arcade machine to detect the distance of the character and if it's up close, activate it. Now what do we have, what does that? Does anyone remember? Darth Vader. He does it, even though he's like very far away and we can't access him. And he's let's drag him back out. He would here. So let's see. Darth Vader. What have you got for me? Um this one here. So there's our range detection. So we don't need any of this, so we can copy this. And view distance, we can copy that. No, we don't. We'll copy all of it, why not? And we'll go back to the arcade machine. And in the scripts folder, we will... Maze minigame, we as well create it in here. Um, activating game. Let's load that up. And paste in. So we have that. Do we need audio? Mm, not yet. Well, we do. We'll blank it out for now. So that means we'll put this one back in. Um, don't need that. We'll just leave that for now because we don't need that one. But yeah. So we can mute that. Um, character. Oh, I'll just get rid of that because that's going to throw an error. Yeah. Destroy you, we don't need that. We don't need play audio, we don't need that one. View distance, we don't need, we'll set to 10. Because we don't want to be really editing this, it's like one object, you get this close, it is that. So, uh, the player, player, so this <coughs> should be on the arcade machine. So, if we type here, um, aptly, actually, if Input dot get key E, I believe that was our action key. Oh, all letters in here have to be lowercase as well. Unless you like put get key down, put it higher case, then reset it. Um, don't do that. Just put it as lowercase. It's far easier. Trust me. If input T application dot load level. What did I call it? I actually can't remember. Oh, maze main menu so that should do that but where's our little tree thing what like um, it tells us actions to press so we did it on our th not that one the information panel that's what we need now we do need to change that Oh, that's simple enough to change. So if we go back to here, and if he's in range here, we can type input text controls. Because all we're basically going to do is if this var variable here is true, then it'll start ticking down, which is what we want. So all we do is access it, change it, and then make it true, I mean. And then it'll start ticking down. So input text, dot text active equals true. So that should start ticking it down. It'll enable it for us. Then all we need to do is change the text inside it. So if we find where the tree text is, we don't need it. We can figure it out. So game object dot find. What was the name of it? Play information panel. Oh, I fixed the F2 key as well. So no more things. Dot GUI text dot text equals. This may not work but basically we're going through it all to go to this GUI text text here play help guide we need it to say press E to play th the maze game I don't know if that's meant to be a capital there we'll try it press E to play the capital to 
play the maze game. Alright, let's try it. Do we get an iris? Did you mean text? Yes, we did mean lower text. See, I'm, I'm not even perfect at doing this. You still get mixed up sometimes. There we go. So if we should go up to it, it should pop up saying, play maze game. Hopefully. Then if we press E, it should load it. Where's the sword? Where's the sword? Where's the sword? Yeah, that's the sword. The sword's awesome. So let's see. We'll go up to it, and it should show... Nothing. It's not even enabled in it. Oh my god. Well, that one doesn't work for some strange reason. We'll have to fix that another time. But then if we go up to it and press E, I should have tested that. It should work, and then that'll be this tutorial done. That Shao Kahn, Shang Tsung's still doing that. That's annoying. So let's see. Mm -hmm. And let's press E. I know why it's not doing it. We forgot to assign it. See, that's the number one cause for it not working. You forget to assign it every time. And we need to assign the character. Right. Test two. You were all probably sat there looking at me going, Oh, you missed it. Please don't flame the comments because I did find it. So, yeah. Oh, something just hit me. Right, okay. So let's see. Press E to play the maze game. Perfect. Press E. And we load. Perfect. Click the character to start. What's happened to the camera? Well, something's messed up on that one. Because it decides not to look properly. So let's try it again. I'm thinking it might have been because it wasn't full screen. What does keep hitting me there? We need to have a look at that one time. This scene likes so badly. Press E to play the maze game. Press E. Play. Ooh. We might need to rearrange it and make it look better. But if we press it. Die. Play. Perfect. It's playable. What we need to do is add a quick quit button to that, which is should be really easy to do. So if we load up here, levels, mini game, name menu. Of course, we want to save it. We'll add some arcadey sounds to it later. So it's just going to do. do. Hmm. I don't know why that don't work, but okay. So we'll go to here or the camera, and we'll open this up. Duplicate that. Um, we need to move it down, so 50, that's by 50, so we move it down 50. Quit. Um, load level 01. I believe it was called level 01. Level 1. There we go. So let's play. Quit, play. Do, 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 do. Play. Retry. Quit. That's it. So we've got a fully working mini game now. We can just quickly jump through it and get rid of all the prints because we don't need the prints. That's it. We win. And what we can do is make it so you have to pay money to do it, or you can do this, you can do this. It's really, really good. It's never expanding what we can do. Thanks for watching. I hope you liked it. And we'll do some more on it another time. And see you next time.